He won, Jesus. Yes, Cordell Stewart won. Let me go ahead and just jump right into this article posted on the DailyMail.com website. Now, the article is titled Exclusive because, see, the Daily Mail is a real news site, unlike Meat Magazine, which is just some asshole with a microphone. They said exclusive ex-NFL star Cordell Stewart wins $3 million judgment against YouTube sensation who claimed they had a gay relationship and gave him gifts. In October of 2015, viral video star Andrew Caldwell went on a radio show and claimed he had hooked up with Stewart in the past. He claimed Stewart bought him purses and expensive cars. Caldwell became famous for a video in which he screamed at church, I'm not gay no more. Actually, he also said, I've been delivered. They left that part out. Ex-NFL star Stewart denied the allegations of a relationship and called them false and defamatory. While Caldwell has since retracted his statements, Stewart maintains that the claims damaged his career, image, and hurt his family. Now, according to court documents seen exclusively by DailyMail.com, Stewart has scored a $3 million victory against Caldwell in a default judgment. Shout out to my girl Zara Rubin from the DailyMail.com website because she published this article on March 10th of 2017. I'm going to read it to you guys to give my opinion. Now, this is a long one. It's very long. It's but not as long as my mean three and a half. But anyways, the article reads, Ex-NFL quarterback Cordell Stewart has scored a $3 million victory against viral video star Andrew Caldwell, who claimed the two had a gay relationship. Pause the story right there. Let me just tell you... <laughs> Tell you listen to something. So, like I've complained about this before, a lot of black women love to call black men gay. Also, I notice a lot of gay men like to do this shit too. You, you, you love to call black straight men gay because for whatever reason you think that it sounds cool. You know, you think that you could just slander the name of black men. And I, I started telling heifers in my comment section, I'm like, you know, I'm about to start suing motherfuckers. And people thought that I was joking. You're going to end up like my man in the story right here. Keep on coming to my comment section talking about some meat magazine is gay. Trying to slander my name. Thinking that you sound cool. Keep on fucking around. When you get that letter from my lawyer, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised how things go down. Because I'll take you for everything you don't have. But anyways, ex-NFL quarterback Cordell Stewart has scored a $3 million victory against viral video star Andrew Caldwell who claims the two had a gay relationship. In November last year, a judge awarded Stewart 44 a, quote, default judgment against Caldwell, who failed to turn up to the proceedings. First of all, if somebody's suing you for millions of dollars and your ass doesn't, <laughs> doesn't show up in court, what in the world could be more important than somebody suing you for freaking millions of dollars? You know, a lot of people probably figure, well, y you can't get blood from a turn up. <laughs> so if I don't have it, what are they going to sue me for? Tell you what, you go ahead, right? you go ahead and play with the courts if you want. Then on March 10th, according to documents seen exclusively by DailyMail.com, Stewart was awarded $1.5 million in general damages and $1.5 million in punitive damages as his reputation was, quote, significantly hurt by the claims. The $3 million victory is less than the NFL star had hoped. However, he sued Caldwell for $4.5 million last month citing loss of earnings, emotional distress, and impairment to his image. In October 2015, Caldwell, 38, went on The Shakeup Show and claimed he dated Stewart and that the pro football player had bought him expensive gifts. On the show, a video of which remains on YouTube, Caldwell said, quote, I dated Cordell. He was asked, Cordell who? And answered, Cordell with Porsche. Did he really use the Lord's name in vain? Why not just say Cordell Stewart as opposed to saying Cordell with Portia? Why bring the name of the most beautiful woman in the whole wide world, in the whole universe, into this discussion? Why not just say the NFL player, Cordell from the Real Housewives? Why bring the beautiful Portia Williams into it? Excuse me, I'm over here sweating just by saying her name and reading her name. Let me take her name off the screen before I pass out. Anyways, he told the show's presenters that he had met him in a bar, in a restaurant, and said, quote, I shook his hand. Oh my God, it's you. But he said it was not a lasting relationship. It said, quote, it was only a one-time thing. He added, quote, I'm going to tell the women and I'm going to tell Miss Portia, darling, 
you know damn well he is gay. Falls the story right there. No gay dude marry the most beautiful woman in the world. Okay? But anyways, and by the way, Cordell is my hero. He must have done something right to get with Portia. So one of these days, I'm going to have to hit this brother up for an interview and, and find out how the hell he did it. And, and, and all I'm going to say is three words, wish me luck. But anyways, he had a quote, if you're gay, you can just get a vibe from someone and know they are too. Really, the gay vibe. The gay vibrator. Hmm, okay, Jesus. But anyways, in the video, said <laughs> he says he doesn't, <laughs> quote, need any more money since he already has money from various, quote, affairs with men, including Stewart. About the expensive gifts, he says he received from Stewart, he explained, I had everything Porsche got. I got purses, cars. I mean, I'm in a Jaguar right now. Is he really trying to say that Cordell bought him his fucking Jaguar? Like, really, Jesus? But anyways, Caldwell had first become well-known for another video in which he screamed the church, I'm not gay no more. But Stewart sued Caldwell and said that the allegations of, quote, homosexual relations were made when he was married to Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Sorry, I had an asthma attack. I'm oh, sorry about that. Anyway, back to the story. <clears throat> We're made when he was married to Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams, 35. Why does Portia look 19? Anyways, uh, Portia Williams, 35. And we made in an attempt to harm his marriage. Well, anything that harms Portia, you know I'm against. But I'll get into that later. Because I have some very harsh things to say. He also claimed that his then nine-year-old son, Sayer, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, was bullied because of the rumors. Stewart denied the allegations and his suit stated, quote, at all times during his life, Mr. Stewart has been and is a heterosexual male. The suit filed in Georgia called the allegations, quote, false and defamatory, while Caldwell has since publicly apologized and retracted his statements. Oh, too little, too late, buddy. A representative from his management team today declined DailyMail.com's request for comment. But in a previous statement, his spokesman stood by the gay relationship claims, and I quote, Mr. Caldwell has not been served any documents referenced in the Daily Mail article dated February 24th to 2017. However, should he be properly served by court with jurisdiction, he welcomes the opportunity to detail under oath his sexual encounter with Mr. Stewart. Quote, this is not the first time Mr. Stewart has desperately sought media attention by professing his heterosexuality. Nor the first time he's threatened a lawsuit against Mr. Caldwell. Pause story right there. He didn't just threaten, he actually won three fucking million dollars. So what y'all gotta say now? Boom in your face, bitch. No wonder you have nothing else to say, Jesus. But anyways, Mr. Caldwell will aggressively defend himself in a court proceeding. Should that be warranted? Until then, he's very excited about his new ventures and will focus on his new website, his designer t-shirt line, and launching his YouTube channel. Stuart Sue explains that before the allegations, he was known as the star quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers, but is now plagued with, quote, illegitimate questions about his sexuality, quote, personally and professionally in a sports industry that has made homosexuality an unbelievable, controversial, and taboo topic. Well, shit, I guess so. You don't want to be in the locker room with some dude looking at your butt and your balls. I mean, damn, you know, she, you drop your towel and you go to pick it up and he's over there, just, his head reaching all the way around the lockers. And he's like, ooh, hanging balls. It must be Christmas. Jingle balls. And now you chasing him through the locker room and you're ready to strangle him with your towel. And everybody's like, this is gay bashing. Let him look at your balls and your butt. And you're like, fuck that shit. But, you know, anyways. Anyway, back, back to the article, because I, I know I'm offending people now. Now y'all like, really me? Really? Y yeah, uh -huh. just like that. You damn right. I, I'm not trying to be up in the locker room and do looking at me. Feel like that chick in the WNBA when they were bullying her for being straight. But anyway, I, I'll do a separate video about homegirl. Anyways, in November, a judge awarded Stewart a, quote, default judgment against Caldwell, who failed to turn up to the proceedings. And on March 10th, according to court documents, Stewart was awarded a total of $3.5 million in damages as his reputation was, quote, significantly hurt by the claims. He also said that he had to turn down several public appearances during the, quote, saga and decline offers to host, speak, or participate in various events that cost him in excess of 875 
thousand dollars to one million dollars this is not the first time Stewart has been forced to defend his sexuality in 2013 he was moved to deny he was gay after Williams hinted that his sexuality may have been a factor in their split first of all Portia can hint anything that she wants she's the most beautiful woman in the world and and, and the prettiest girl I ever saw can hint anything and there's nothing wrong with that and, and there's nothing illegal about that and, and yeah I'm, I'm glad that they're not coming for her but anyway back, back to the article this is not the first time Stewart has been forced to do oh I just read that see they had a picture of Portia on the screen and shit I lost my fucking mind for a second oh my god anyways among many claims Stewart argues that his then nine-year-old son Sayer was bullied because of the rumors Stewart's suit explains that before the allegations he was known as the star quarterback of the Steelers but now he will be plagued with questions about his sexuality in the sports industry that has made homosexuality a taboo topic man this is insane you know thank you to the Daily Mail for this awesome article nobody should ever have to go through that for the record they have some pictures up there of the most beautiful woman in the world Portia with Cordell there's a picture of Cordell with his son there's a picture of Andrew Caldwell sitting in a chair waving like Mr. America looking extremely masculine might I add and there's a picture of Cordell when he was in the NFL another picture of him on I guess it's a red carpet somewhere you know he is a star and then there's an actual documentation from the court from the Superior Court of DeKalb County state of Georgia so yeah, this is a real lawsuit. This is not some prank. This is not them trying to be funny. This is not rumor. You know, he really did sue Homeboy. He won three damn million dollars. You know, when I first heard of Cordell Stewart, I heard of him because he was married to Portia. This is when they were still married. This is before the divorce. And I was hating on him. I was like, man, who is this Cordell Stewart dude? That snatched up the prettiest girl I ever saw. And I was hating like a motherfucker. I'm not even going to front. I was straight hating. I was like, man, fuck Cordell Stewart. He has Portia. And I got hand Nisha. Palmeline. Nikki Knuckles over here. And he's going to bed with Portia. The most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. And I was hating. I, I can't front. Uh, Jesus. I, I was hating. Straight hating. But, you know, but then I got over it. And I was like, you know what? There's obviously something I can learn from him. If he got with Portia, then he he must have done something right. You know, apparently she loved him at one point. There must have been something that he was doing right. But anyways, here's the thing, though. I'm glad that Cordell won the damn lawsuit. I'm tired of black men being called gay. I remember, I'll make a separate video about it. I'll write it down and make sure I don't forget this time. As I know I mentioned it before. I think it was the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 6 reunion show. I think it was the third part of the reunion or the second part, I'm pretty sure it was the third part, where they brought up how every man on that damn show has been called gay at some point, except for Matt Jordan. And I remember watching it and thinking that was Kenya Moore's boyfriend. I was sitting there like, actually, in my comment section, he's called gay all the time. Like, literally, any black man that goes on the show gets called gay. Black men get called gay constantly. And smart, well-to-do black men are tired of the damn slander. And I'm glad that the guy who hosts the reunions for The Real Housewives called out all them black women on the show he was like you know all of these men have been called gay except for matt which i guess they didn't know that matt was called gay but the point was this though all these men in relationships with women and they get called gay why like what is so many black women's obsession with calling black men gay like i'm personally tired of the, of the disrespect and the slander it's disgusting we hear about the things that black men say to women in this that, and the third but we, we really need to pay attention to what black women and gay men are saying to us to straight black men which is constantly slandering our fucking names and you know what though people in my comment section are about to get sued and I, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that you guys will see that I'm dead ass serious when my company sues these people you're gonna see I'm not fucking playing but shout out to Cordell I'm glad you won the money but at the end of the day the real winner in this is Portia because she got to be single and that's what she wanted and Portia always wins no matter what because Portia is always right but anyways this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. And if Portia ever called me gay, I would shut the fuck up. Because it, it would be Portia's word versus mine. And my word would be null and void because Portia is everything. Anyways, Meat Magazine.